Now you're about to see his reaction to Molly Tibbetts and ICE, to deporting the Nazi prison guard, and will he be impeached if the Democrats win? Listen to this. Let's talk about immigration. Molly Tibbetts, another American killed yeah. by an illegal, an illegal alien. It's just adding fuel to this already controversial immigration um, subject that you've been outspoken about. What do you say to those who disagree with your immigration plan? Molly is this beautiful young girl who the father, I watched the father, he kept saying, I sort of doubted it was going to happen. She's coming back. Mm -hmm. She just left, but she's coming back. And I'd say, it's called hope. And it's a beautiful thing in a way. It's hope. Mm -hmm. But now there's no hope. She was killed by a horrible person that came in from Mexico, illegally here, found by ICE, our great ICE, who was abused by the Democrats and the left. And without them, you might not be sitting here so comfortably right now. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so sad. We're building the wall. It's already started. Uh, we've spent $3.2 billion on it. We're asking for $5 billion for this year's funding. The wall is going up. A lot of people don't know it. Uh, I'd like to build it even faster, but dealing with the Democrats is very tough. Uh, the immigration laws are horrible. We're doing an incredible job. We're doing a record-breaking job, but we have bad laws. You know, when you have bad laws, you can do good, but you can do a lot better if you had good laws. So they'll all get changed, but we have to elect more Republicans. The Nazi prison guard living here in New York, living in Queens, ICE officials deported him. Why was that so important for you? Because I know that was on your agenda. It has been since the beginning. I have a lot of Jewish friends who said to me about this man living in Queens. I grew up in Queens. That's where I grew up. And he was a man that, not just a prison guard, he was a prison guard that supervised the killing of many, many Jews. Many, many Jews. And he's lived here for decades. And he walks the street of Jackson Heights. I know Jackson Heights very well. I walk the same streets. And he, I don't know, people came up to me. And they, from the beginning of the campaign, they tell me about this Nazi who lived in Queens, who walks the street like he owns the place. Now he's an old man, he's 95 years old, and the Obama administration was unable to pull it off. And frankly, the Bush administration was unable to pull it off. Dove Hykend, who's a very Democrat assemblyman from New York, heavy Democrat. I mean, this is a guy that never heard of a Republican, okay? He was giving me such praise. It was so nice. He said, thank you, Mr. President, thank you. It was so nice to watch, actually, because because of the fact he's a Democrat, he was so he said, I don't care whether he's a Republican or a Democrat. What he did is something that nobody else was able to do. But I've done many things like that. They don't get reported. They don't get reported. What we're doing for health care is incredible. We're even keeping the remnants of Obamacare. You know, we've mostly got it uh, killed uh, and we got rid of the individual mandate, but we're getting the remnants of Obamacare. The increase is much less than people thought. That's because of us. Mm -hmm. And we're getting rid of it slowly. We're putting in new health care systems, which is a beautiful thing. 76 days away from the midterms. Hard to believe. If the Democrats take back power, do you believe they will try to impeach you? Well, you know, I guess it says something like high crimes and all. I don't, I don't know how you can impeach somebody who's done a great job. I'll tell you what, if I ever got impeached, I think the market would crash. I think everybody would be very poor because without this thinking, uh, you would see you would see numbers that you wouldn't believe. In reverse, if Hillary Clinton got elected, instead of 4.1 up, and each point is three and a half trillion dollars and 10 million jobs. When I took it over, it was at one, and it was going to be down. It was going down. I freed up. I got rid of regulations. The tax cut was a tremendous thing. But even before the tax cut, right from first day, I got rid of regulation. I approved the pipelines, 48,000 jobs. But I did a lot of things. Had Hillary and the Democrats gotten in, had she been president, you would have had negative growth. We picked up $10 trillion in worth. China, by the way, has gone down $15 trillion, okay? You know, when I came in, China was a dominant force. Now, they like me very much. I get along great with mm -hmm. President Xi. But I said, we can no longer give you $500 billion a year on bad trade deals. And you see what's happened over the last 90 days. 
And the reason I even waited was because of North Korea, because I wanted China's help on North Korea. Otherwise, I would have done it sooner. And China's been a big help on North Korea. I hope they continue to be, because eventually I had to say, look, I have to get going now on trade. But last year, China made 507. We had a deficit with China, $517 billion. Not going to happen anymore.